And Kenny wants no part of it. David takes the pot. More from Vegas in a moment. My poker nickname is Poker Brat. I wonder why. People call me Jesus. I'm Moses. When I was in college, they called me Smoker. The mouth, bull pup. I've also been called Dancing Mike some. Kid Poker. Maybe the H-bomb because of Oppenheim. Quick Fish. The Big Dog. Durr. I'll throw, like, some temper tantrums and they can call me the H-bomb. The Oriental Express. E-Dog. A few guys call me D-Dub. Lady Maverick. Dang, that's just kind of people being lazy. Eddie The Human Tripod. People have tried to call me the Duchess or something. The Professor. The Great Dane. I think Annie Duke's a pretty cool name. I finally realized that Huckleberry wasn't the most common name. They used to call me Sammy Houston. So I guess I really don't need a nickname for poker. Supernova. Ice Skate. Kenny the Kid. The Prince of Poker, baby. Sick call Kenny. Kenny Tran has the luxury of having two nicknames, but at the moment, currently not the luxury of holding the chip lead. That distinction goes to the man across the table, David Oppenheim. Possibly. You see the blinds at two and 4,000. Relentless, putting pressure on players to not sit back and wait for hands, but rather get involved. Jack seven for Kenny. He raises to 10,000. David with Jack nine. He calls. David's got Kenny dominated heading to the flop here. Ace high flop. David checks. Kenny's got control of the pot and position. His pre-flop raise makes it easier for him to represent an ace or a king here. Kenny bets 13,000. <laughs> David mucks his hand. Kenny picks up 10,000 in chips, and now we are back to all even. 80,000 in chips apiece. Each player carries all the chips they win from the previous rounds with them to the following rounds. Oppenheim not really even supposed to be here. He got in as an alternate, but alternates have had great success here. You didn't see that car. Right? He didn't have a chance to get too nervous before he knew it. He was in the event. David with 7-4. He limps in. Tran with ace-jack. He checks. Sometimes a pause like that will give away information to an opponent. They may put you on a somewhat big hand. Trip ace is on the flop for Tran. He checks again. Oppenheim quickly checking behind him there. Eight of clubs on the turn. Yeah, David might smell something fishy here after that pause pre-flop by Tran. Kenny bets 6,000 and David calls. I stand corrected. It looks like David is going to try to take this thing away. Trey of spades on the river. We know he's not calling with seven high. Kenny bets 15,000. David's not going to like this. He probably thought Kenny would check the river and he could steal the pot on the end. Now it's a whole different story. He'd have to put in a raise, and he's not willing to do that. Tran takes the pot. Oppenheim in a unique situation from the other competitors. As we said, he's the one who originally wasn't supposed to be here at all. I played in this before a couple years back, and one of the one of the original 64 had some sort of problem, and uh, I, I guess I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I've been in right place. This is a great tournament to play. Everybody wants to be invited to the NBC Heads Up, and I'm just lucky to be here. I've been blessed and have done better in poker than I could have ever imagined when I got into it. Would I like to be a little more recognized so that people would consider me with players that are more TV players? Of course. Paul Wasika won the 2007 Heads Up title as an alternate. Andy Block reached the finals last year in the same position. Yeah, I was the next one down on the list. Just didn't work out. He got stuck with me. Ace 10 for Tran. He raises to 10,000. 7 4 for David. He just cost himself quite a bit of money playing this hand, and he's not going to give up on it just yet, is he? He raises to 24,000. We move over to Fan and Farha, another all-in and call. Farha holding pocket tens against Fan's ace five offsuit. John Fan with under 20,000 in chips. Farha's got him well covered here. 
Fan trying to bounce back after losing that huge pot in the early going. Here's the clock. Ace king. It's not what John wanted, nine tray queen. So far, so good for Sammy Farha's pocket tens. Fan is ace fishing. That eight on the turn means Fan needs one of those three remaining aces on the river. I said ace fishing, not eight fishing. Ace of diamond. On the river, Farha with a bit of overkill. His tens upgrade to a straight. And Sammy Farha into the quarterfinals for the first time since 2006. John Fan, meanwhile, halfway into a consolation brewski. Back at table four, Kenny had called Oppenheim's pre-flop re-raise. David paired his seven on the flop and now bets 17,000. Big pot poker taking place now between these heavyweights. Kenny has not connected with this board whatsoever. Tran mucks his hand. David now with a three to two chip lead. So hard to let that go there. Ace queen. Ace queen, I go on before flop. Oppenheim and Tran pondering the outcome of their match, but for Sam Farha, all that's left to ponder is around a 16 win and a berth in the quarterfinals. We'll be back with more from the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Welcome back to Caesar's Palace. Huck Seed and Sam Farha both have advanced to the round of eight. Seed made quick work of Glenn Choyney to move on, and Farha defeated the dangerous John Pham. Let's go out to the featured table. Blinds now at two and four thousand for David Williams and Eric Lindgren. Williams up three to two in chips. He's had the chip lead for most of this match, Craig, and it's pretty well suited to the approach he's taken to the match, which is to splash around, get involved in plenty of pots, Williams with queen eight, limps in, lingering jack ten, checks. Amazing flop for David, queen's full. That's Eric fine. bets 5,000 on a straight draw, but he's drawing dead. If you're David Williams, you're just salivating right now. You're holding the deck, and your opponent's putting money into the pot. After Williams raised to 15,000, Eric calls. A little surprised to see David not slow play here, but this is gonna disguise his hand. Eric's not gonna think that David is as strong as he is. After the deuce on the turn, Eric checks and David bets 22,000. This is an I mean business bet. And Eric decides he wants no part of that one. He folds. Yep, 10-4, good buddy. Lingren sends a message right there, but Williams with a message of his own this year, less bling is the way to go. Usually, I wear quite a lot of jewelry. With the way the economy is and the way things are going, it's not a good look to be wearing all that jewelry. A million dollars worth of jewelry is, is really not, and what's the point? I'm older now, more mature, so I decided that this year I was gonna change it up. Still have a little, you know, little diamond on the toothpick, but other than that, I had to tone it down, got rid of the chain, got rid of all the bracelets and the big earrings, and decided I was just gonna focus on playing poker and, and, and doing it well. You don't want to go cold turkey, right, Craig? No, Ali, it's yeah. definitely a 12-step program, but you, you got to keep some sort of style. It'd be like a cash game rematch for you guys, all the times you all Williams play. with ace, queen. He raises to 12,000. King 10 for Eric. Come on. Eric goes all in, and Williams calls. Eric knows he's beat when he hears David call that quickly. He's drawing a line in the sand here, trying to put a stack together. Tired of getting picked on. Williams ace high, still best. Eric's gonna need some help. He's hunting for a 10 or a king. Inside straight draw for Eric. That doesn't hurt, he can hit a nine. He's added four outs to the six he's already Here's got the to win this pot and stay alive. Lingren pairs his king on the river. Oh, yeah. And their chip stacks are back to almost 22, even. 23, 27. David is not amused. Wow, right out of the sky. <laughs> he's putting the hurt on that toothpick. I knew I wore the right shirt today. 
E Dog, feeling lucky. What'd you have? Back at table four, over 25,000 chip lead for Oppenheim. I told you last time. I told you my hand, too. Huh? I told you my hand, too. David with King Jack. If I told you my, you told you your. You didn't lie the first time, right? He raises to 11,000. What do you mean I didn't lie the first time? Come on. I don't, I don't want to say this one. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this one. <laughs> That's right, the camera. <laughs> I mean, we're friends. You can't lie to me when we're on camera. Yeah. Camera used to work as a lie deterrent. Not so much anymore. People are desensitized. Ace Deuce suited for Kenny. David has raised it up on the button. Kenny's reading. 